welcome back to the seven part series of a week in my life. I am a single mom in medical school in a directed study pathway. So follow along with me for each day. If you haven't caught up on Sunday through Wednesday yet, make sure you head back and check those videos out too. Let's get Thursday rolling. Six oh one a.m. It is a big day today. We have a microbiology exam first thing at eight o'clock, and then an OPP exam this afternoon. little bit on the struggle bus this morning just kind of exhausted thinking about the day ahead so I'm taking this morning pretty slow there's the mascara smudge I knew I wouldn't get away without it today going to forget to pack my charger today, especially with my morning exam. get appropriate shoes for professional wear as well as my OPP exam. Hitting the road at 716 is a little later than I was hoping for given my exam starts at 8 so I need to be in my seat and ready to go at 745. I should just make it right in time. All right, all right. I'm starting to get into it now. Thank goodness I'm awake. <laughs> I should take all my stuff in. Going in just a few minutes later than I hoped, but I'm out in a short two hours. With three hours to kill until my OPP exam, it's back to the library with my best buddy, Anki. Don't you love these video flashcards? Eleven twenty-three. so I think I'm going to just take some time to myself to head out to the car, be in my own space, relax, and do a little bit of snacking before coming in for my OPP exam. Knowing that I would be stressed between exams today, I probably made the wrong choice and just decided to pack some snacks. So I've got some yogurt covered raisins, grapes, beef jerky, Cheez-Its. Sounds like a toddler's lunchbox.
After ample me time in the car, I'm ready to get changed for my OPP exam. Twelve minutes to get in, find my partner, and get started on my full body diagnosis for OPP. And just like that, it's over. Okay, let's just take a minute and let myself celebrate how far I've come this week. I have been on top of my studying and I feel that this is going to be reflected in my exam grades. Not to mention, we are moving into our last class of the semester now, immunology. home just before 3 o'clock and I think I deserve just a little bit of decompression time before I start diving into my next core class. Mommy. Nice cream. Nice cream. Well, have you been eating good? I think the test was supposed to be 136 questions. It was 136 three hour max and I finish right around two hours. I'm out, I'm done. <laughs> so, you know, then I had my big OPP exam. It can't, it can't hurt you, but everybody had to do it. And if we did better than one of our practicals this semester, it would replace our practicals. Yeah. Well, our practicals are all out of 13 points. Before I went in to do that today, I looked up my practical grades for the semester. My grades out of 13 points for the three practicals we've had were 11, 12, and 13. So unless I score higher than an 11 on today's big, you know, whole body diagnosis, it's kind of a waste of my time. I don't know how, don't ask me how. You got 13. Mm -hmm. So now I have a 12 and two 13. Funny thing too is a couple hours before they posted and said, here are your subgroups, find your subgroup when you get there. And I looked at who was in my subgroup and I saw um, Erin was in it, someone who I like and I've partnered with her on things before. And I messaged her and I said, we're in the same subgroup, maybe we'll be partners. Guess what? You are partners. <laughs> we are partners. So that was kind of perfect. I definitely earned some ice cream and a nap today. But at 4.36 p.m., I think it's time to crawl out of my hibernation and get back on track. Without scheduled lectures, my studying is directed by a set of modules or learning objectives for each course. I'm given these and told, go learn these things, which is really great for me because even though the learning objectives are assigned to our course textbooks, I can't sit and read a textbook. So I can take these learning objectives, find relevant Anki cards using filters or tags like I'm doing here, and then I can also use supplemental resources like Osmosis or Sketchy Medical to help me learn the foundational concepts behind the objectives given by my professors. Because I really got a pretty comprehensive course for immunology during my SMP last year, I'm just going to bring this information back out of the far reaches of my brain by watching a quick osmosis introductory video to the immunology course. I'm going to switch things up a little bit here and do some active learning by testing myself with some of these Anki flashcards. Mm -hmm. 
super big deal, do not forget to sink your Anki decks. Let's call it a day because I think everyone in the house is probably tired and hungry. understand now she thinks any fast food is called lunch or she thinks like the brown bags that stuff comes in is lunch uh -huh. do you know what you want to eat number Life. one whatever Life. that is Life. we're seeing that horrible time that we yeah. were behind that one lady yeah. bounce 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 in a window Ooh. <laughs> i'm getting a little roasty in here Light. Light. lights lights yeah Lights. Lights? Well, yeah. So what are you going to get? Number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> um, can I get two number ones? Oh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Red light stop. Red light stop. A day later still trying to get that beef jerky out of my teeth. Flippy for about 12 more minutes. Said a mother, knowing full well it wouldn't be just 12 more minutes.
We survived Thursday. I was not sure I would make it through that one. <sighs> now we're essentially on to the weekend, right? Yeah. Stay posted. We're gonna finish out Friday and Saturday with you. So watch for those videos. And just as a reminder, this is my second to last week of my first semester in my first year of med school. So things are calming down a little bit for the year. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, sharing, all that good stuff. Help us to reach other people that might enjoy the content. I'm sorry. But before that, be sure to leave me a comment if you have thoughts or questions that I can help with. And just remember, if this mom can do it, so can you. Mm -hmm.